What's up guys, this is Pika Ranger Autobot 97 back with another video review and today we're going to be taking a look at the old Transformers Generations Thrilling 30 Voyager Class IDW Sandstorm. Now this figure was originally a remold of Thrilling 30 Voyager Springer also based off of his appearance in the IDW comics. And, that, and I gotta admit that Springer figure set a high bar because, because how good it looked. And and this Sandstorm figure is no exception here. Now taking a look at a little bit of a closer look in here at Sandstorm here, starting off with, with the head, that head sculpt is really, really amazing. You got the vents here on the top of the forehead and also on the sides of his cheeks. You got the white paint here on the on the on the mouth right there. You got the nose and the lips. And also, you can see here on the on the back of the head, you can there's a little bit clear plastic right there, and it's and that's right that that he has a really good light piping here, and so did Springer here. And and looking coming around here, even to the torso section here, where on Springer here he where it was a little bit smoother here of a smoother of a surface right there at at that figure, they went hardcore on this on Sandstorm right there. You can see here the gunmetal color here on the side vents here of the torso. You got the also a little bit of a, a black vent detailing right there, you know, kind of like the, the bumper right there, which will turn into the bumper. And you can see the nice Autobot symbol right there. Again, same gunmetal color here on the, on the chest vent. And, and there, there's a, a lot, a lot of remolding here in the figure, especially here, right here in the chest, here, right there. You can see, obviously, here, prominently in the back. And you can see here on the top of the shoulders, see here some of the headlights right there, which will definitely become the front here of, of both his vehicle forms, both the VTOL aircraft and the dune buggy. And you can see here on the, on the arms here, Definitely nice sculpted detail here, and you can see this piece right there with, with the yellow here with a little bit of a black paint right there. And you can see a little bit of wiglets here forming the forming the outside of the arm in the window here forming the forearm panel right there. And obviously the fist do has also nice sculpted detail right there, which is really nice. And you can see here in the crotch. Here, right there, you can see some also vents right there. You got some silver paint right there, and also got a little bit of a yellow, darker yellow, got a little bit lighter yellow here on the plastic into the joints. You got the orange, you got the orange plastic here for the kneecaps right there, which will also turn into the landing gears here. And you can see where, and you can see here where the where the actual feet are right there. You can see the little bit of black here with a little bit of a silver painter right there. And you got the, the feet right there. Also the form of the heels. And, and look at that amazing detail here where, where actually there were wheels, the wheels here on Springer. And they would turn into the little bit circular disc detail here for Sandstorm right there. And as we come around here into the back, this is amazing looking and th this is how I configured the back here like so now the official transformation here had you had the had this orange piece right there to flip up and tab it onto these slots right there to give him a much more of a g1 look I suppose right there but but that's gonna be really odd and, and in terms of the stability here is gonna be really really maybe problematic here now, coming from the problems here, and the one thing I have an issue with is basically the, the feet here. I mean, they're too small to bury this entire assembly here of a back, backpack right there. I mean, and, and you can touch it just a little bit of a slightest. He will stand up here just a little bit fine, but once you touch him a little bit, little bit he falls falls backwards here. I mean, he's a little bit back heavy because of this entire bulk right there. But in terms of the posability here, head is on a ball joint here, which can really move up left or right, can move up and down, not a little bit of the side to side right there. The shoulders can 
hinge like this in and out. They can also rotate here, but but due to the to the back cable is a little bit hindered. But you can articulate the these gigantic wheels right there to give him much more of the plausibility here right there, but still a little bit limited. And you got the bicep swivel here. You got the ratcheted bent ratcheting bend at the elbow, which almost lifted up to the 90 degrees. And, and despite the little bit of kibble here, you got some waist articulation here, right there, which is really nice. You got the back and forth at the hips. They move in and out. Very tight thigh swivel for a 10 year old figure. And you got the ratcheting bend here at the knee. And not so much here and no ankle tilt here because of the transformation here. So overall, the, pose, the posability and the articulation is not really up to today's standards when comparing this figure to the War for Cybertron trilogy and legacy figures. But, but the posability here is really, really, really nice, if I'm being honest though. Now in terms of the accessories here, Sandstorm comes with this really, really big gun here and it kind of almost doubles as an engine here for for the Vuitton aircraft mode and also a little bit for the dune buggy mode and it's really really big and, but I really appreciate the detail that, that they put here on this gun so you got some lines right there and, and you can see here it has a mobile handle and it kind of resembles a little bit of a wheel right there and and this gun here is a friction fire one and it's a really different here from Springer here, which where this one's a single barrel well Springer was is double barreled and it is a friction firing like I said you just did a little, little, little bit of pump action and it fires a very good amount right there but I it's a like I said it's a really big gun too I really really appreciate that now in terms of the robot mode size comparison here we have currently dirty sandstorm compared next to his buddy Titan's Return Voyager Octane here and as you can see Sandstorm and Octane here really meet head to head here with each other and if I'm being honest these two figures really scale really nicely together and I'm really curious to see how the upcoming rumored leader class G1 Sandstorm here is going to turn out and I'm also hoping to see the new updated cartoon accurate version of G1 Octane much like they did with Astrotrain in Siege and Earthrise and Blitzwing here in Legacy Year One. Speaking of Blitzwing here, here he is next to Titan's Return Voyager Blitzwing, which I still think he's one of the best Blitzwing figures here in the entire generation's toy line. I haven't got the Legacy version of him just yet, but I will soon enough. In terms of the other robot mode size comparison, here's Sandstorm next to Transformers Kingdom Voyager Class G1 Cyclonus with recently revealed figure, that being Transformers Legacy Year One, Voyager Class G2 Universe G Axis. Last but not least, here's Sandstorm next to Transformers Siege Voyager Class G1 Springer. In terms of this transformation here, it's very, very simple, but very, very fun to do. To start with, come around here to the arms, open up the forearm panels, and fold the fists in into the arms like so. Do the same thing on the other side, Open up the forearm panel, fold in the fist, and close up the forearm panel here like so. Then come around here to the legs, bend them outwards here just like so, and then combine them all together like this here. You can see where there is a little tab right there that's it's gonna peg in here on the, on the opposite side here. It's a little bit tricky, but once you get once you get them lined up, and they will snap firmly into place, then take the feet and the heel spur and lift them up here like just like so. Then come around here to the back section, lift, lift up the tail section here, then untap this section from where the canopy section is going to be, and fold it down like so, then fold the, these sections out of the way. Then come around here to the chest section. Then on the inside, here, other sides of the 
chest here, there are little tabs right there, and underneath the armpit are slots right there. So make sure you put the peg them in here like so. Then untap the, the, the chest beds here from the sides of the torso and angle them down just a little bit. Then straighten out the head and unpeg this chest section here. And be careful here while doing this it's, because it's getting really stuck in there like so, like so here, as you can see. Then bring it up this section through and there's a little slot right there and there's a little translucent tab right there. So that's gonna hang in here like that. Then take the head here and fold it and tuck it inside to where the landing gear originally was. And fold the arm sections down here like so. And as you can see, there are some slots right there and there are little tab sections here like so. So what they're gonna do, they're gonna solidify the arms here like so. And then take this, the wheels here and fold them down like so. Then flip up these sections here. And there are some tabs and slots right there on the inside of the tail. And, and that's gonna clip in here like so. If it can cooperate with me. Just have to straighten them out like so and position the wheels however you really want to. Then flip out these landing gears here. And there you have Thrilling 30 Sandstorm fully transformed into his VTOL aircraft mode. And this vehicle mode is absolutely sick in a good way here. And in terms of the details here, is is actually fully loaded with it here. You can see the silver paint here on the on the outside of the turbines right there. And you can see some of the armor blading here. You got the black paint here. And like I said, you got the little headlights right there. You got the landing gears here you know, with the backward ones formed by the knees. And this thing is really, really, really cool here. And one thing I absolutely love about, about this function, vehicle mode's function, is while the fans actually, while the fans actually don't rotate here, the wheels, the wheels actually do. So kind of like giving like an illusion. I think it's lifting up, and you can rotate them up here, like rotate them around, however you you so choose. Where it's actually you can lift them up, and however they're thrusting forward here. Well, this is basically what it is. It's VTOL aircraft, vertical takeoff and landing. But in, in terms of the accessory implementation, this is the, the, the one weird thing that I actually don't like. Where you can your front fold in the landing gear here and use this connect, connection system right there where the landing gear actually was supposed to be. And while it looks cool though, but uh, it, sometimes I really think, think I got really got to break in that the damn thing and and even the front landing gear is a little bit tricky to get out because of the lack of the fingernails but what but the other the weapon storage here is I think what I think is suggest like the most here it's kind of like the uh, the main engine block here or something but overall this is an absolutely phenomenal looking vehicle mode In terms of the vehicle mode size comparison, specifically the airbase ones, here we have Thrilly 30 Sandstorm in VTOL aircraft mode, compared next to Transformer Siege Springer in its helicopter mode. And as you can see, Sandstorm here is much, much bigger here than Springer here because of because of his bulk right there. But that's not to say it's bad or anything. And when comparing him with with Seed Springer, this is really quite a, a good scale here, if I'm being honest. For more airbase vehicle modes, highest comparison, here's Sandstorm next to Titans Return Octane in his aeroplane mode, and here's Sandstorm next to Titans Return Blitzwing in jet mode. Now to transform him into his Dune Buggy mode, 
first thing you want to do here is to hold in the landing gears here then untap the VTOL engines here here from the sides like so then take this canopy section here shift it backwards here just like this then bring the arm sections here like so to the to the front here then just get this out of the way here for the time being and then transform the sides here and what you're going to do for that is to flip out the window then fold the winglet to inside then rotate this around to reveal the front wheel then shift this panel down closed and then bring it toward bring it here to form the front windows here for the dune buggy mode do the same thing on the other side open up the window section fold this around rotate this around to reveal the wheel and push this section inside and bring it in here like this together to form the front section here of the dune buggy then come around here to the legs then untap these sec these sections here from not not like this, but in the towards the bottom of the knees, and rotate them around. And as you can see, there's a little tab right there, and that's this slot. This is, this is where it's gonna peg into. You just have to align this up just a little bit properly. And same thing over here. There we go. Then take the wheels here, rotate them around, and these are gonna peg in here towards the sides like this. And last but certainly not least, take the VTOL tail section and fold them towards the windows to form the reinforced windows here. And there you have Transformers Thrilling the Regenerations Voyager Sandstorm in his sick looking Dune Buggy Mode. Dune Buggy Mode is literally crazy and absolutely bonkers here, but in a good way. And as you can see here, in the front, he looks absolutely amazing here. I mean, in all honesty here. And the reinforced windows here are also a really, really nice touch here. And the the gigantic wheels here in the even the painting here is also phenomenal. And the black striping right there, which is also amazing. Now, in terms of the weapon storage here, it, it in, in all honesty, it's made way much way much better than the weapon storage here in the VTOL aircraft mode. It kind of looks like the the rotatable turret here and where he's gonna drive in and blast up the Septicons into oblivion. And in terms of the rolling here, he rolls absolutely amazing. Even better than the Seventh Day Titans Return Voyager Triple Changers when, when they're in their land-based vehicle forms. Overall, a solid, solid looking land-based vehicle form. Now in terms of the land-based vehicle mode comparisons, on the, on the left, we have Titans Return Blitzwing in tank mode and Siege Voyager Springer in his Cybertronian car mode. And, and again, much like in VTOL aircraft mode, Sandstorm is way bigger here than Blitzwing and Springer altogether right there. So here are my final thoughts on Transformers Generation's Thrilly 30 Voyager class Sandstorm figure. Overall, it is an outstanding looking figure. Robot mode wise, it's fantastic here. The colors are spot on, the details are fantastic. The proportions are a little off here, but they're not too bad. But my main issue here with the robot mode in general is he doesn't stand very, very well here because of the backpack here and he doesn't have very bigger heels. Transformation wise, is very simple and very fun to do. But when you get to that VTOL aircraft mode and especially the dune buggy mode, they're absolutely solid and sick, in a good way. The weapon implementation in the VTOL aircraft mode is a little bit weaker here, but, but in dune buggy mode, it's absolutely strong. 
I'd love to hear your thoughts on this amazing looking figure in the comment section below and make sure to like, comment, and subscribe on my channel for more future Transformer reviews. And until next time, till all are one.